Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be showing you how to respring your iOS 11 device without the need of a jailbreak. So credit goes to Apple Tech Video, the link for his video that deals with this method will be down in the description. So make sure you guys go check that out. So all you guys want to do is go down to the link down in the description, tap on it, and then it'll bring you to this webpage right here. But my Safari is not working because I have a tweak that has like a VPN apparently. I don't even know which tweak it is, but it, it's like a weird version of Safari. It's not like the right version of Safari, but when you open it up, you would then want to um, install this to your uh, profile. Um, it will actually install the profile, and then when you just go tap open it up, it will actually open up um, a menu, not a menu, but like a page, and it will say that it's going to respring, and, and then within like seconds later, it will respring your device, and then, you know, your device will come back on, and it will be respring. So basically, the difference between respring and reboot Basically, reboot is like when you turn off your device, turn it back on. It's basically like how everything will reset. So, like, I would joke, I have the untethered or tethered, whatever you want to call it, jailbreak, which means every time I turn off my device, turn it back on, my jailbreak is um, unactive. So, with spring in, is basically you turn off, it's like if you have like some errors or some problems with your phone, but you don't want to, like, you know, fully reboot your device. It's kind of like sleep mode on a Mac, or something like that. So, basically, if you respring it, It'll come back on, but like you should still have your jailbreak and everything should be like, you know, not hard reset. Not not hard reset, but like not where like it reset not reset, but like everything will be like turned off. Like your apps will be like, you know, everything's gone. But like re respring is kind of like a lighter way of just like putting your phone like right back into, you know, right back on, but not like it's kind of like that. It's hard to explain. But that's basically what respring is. I'm sorry, I suck at explaining it. But that's all you guys want to do, and then that's it. So thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have any questions? Leave them down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to respond. Hope you guys out. This is Apple Tech Stop. Peace out.